All right, the next sector I'm going to jump into this evening is utilities. We're going to take a close look at what's going on there because this one looks like it in our equal weight sector. It's just now breaking out, moving up in relative strength on all three levels and continuing to kind of show itself here over the last couple of weeks. It's made a strong run, stronger than you usually see in utilities. They tend to be slow and kind of lumpy, but right now it looks like it is uh, wanting to play its defensive role. All of the breadth is really starting to strengthen, especially in the short term, having the percent above the 20-day moving average at 90, the McClellan summation turning up here, and the breadth thrust and the oscillator both running. So this sector really got some attention here just recently. You can also see it in the relative comparative. Um, it is right there um, running higher against a lot of these previous levels and making some serious breakouts. New highs in the sector are high as well percentage-wise. Now some of these percentages in the breadth and things like that are going to be jumpy because utilities are a pretty small sector. When we look at the subsectors, gas, multi-line, electrical, water, and then independent renewables. Independent renewables has a lot of the trash. However, uh, that area is an area that just recently started to wake up a little bit on the solar side. Let's see if any of the others do as well. Now, from the utility standpoint, we're going to take a look at a few of the ETFs and kind of see where we are. Starting with the XLU, you can see it's right near the highs on the daily, made a strong run this week, like I said, but again, not huge overall, just huge for utilities. Broke into a new RSI bull range in that process, and the weekly is right now testing 60, but it hasn't made it back into the bear range. It's held each time it's come down, and now it's challenging these previous highs here. Again, it broke out before and pulled back due to the market weakness, and now it's starting to really move its way back up. The next is ECLN, extremely low volume, but this is one of the carbon impact ones. I think there's another one that's a little higher volume, so you may wanna search that one out. Uh, but here you can see it's breaking out of a base this week on the daily to new all-time highs. Again, a pretty young play. And then our final one is IFRA. Again, similar to, I gotta stop saying again, Similar to the breakout in utilities, it's a little below this little area that ran up. But if we can get a move across here, this weekly looks like it's ready to move up and it's got room on both of its RSIs. Now back to the utilities page, it's a small enough sector with only 100 and change holdings overall that you could go through and just look through the rankings as a whole. I've got them sorted here by the RS movers. Again, in the site, you can sort them however you want to to look for your opportunities and then click through to TradingView to look at the charts. Always good, the RS just basically leads us to where we wanna look. Now we're gonna jump through though and go through each sector and kind of take a subsector, take a look. As you can see here, gas is really the runner right now. RSI is getting high, but again, can go higher if it wants to. Breadth is pretty good on all these, but remember we've got pretty low totals as far as names. I think there might be 13 in here. The relative comparatives though are real strong to the market, making new percentage highs. And as you look at these scenarios, I'm gonna jump into a few of the charts and just show you where you kind of are. In SWX, Southwest Gas Holdings, um, it just had bad earnings. It looks like it's shaking them off and it has the chance to break out here from a really long weekly base. Uh, real boring kind of stock, but 3.37% dividend and looks like it's going into a fresh RSI bull range here that could definitely move higher. The next gas utility that we're looking at is Chesapeake Utilities. Again, it had this big downtrend here in an RSI bear range, just recently broke back into a bull range and a strong day on Friday up 2.7% uh, with a big candle. And then an RSI weekly bull range here into the support on this nice trend off the September 20 lows. Uh, the next one in utilities and gas is NFG. This one looks like it's about to break out on the daily. Just moved into new bull range after earnings here a few weeks back. And the weekly looks like it never lost its bull range in this nice trend. Came back and just touched on the top of the MA bands and now is looking back to challenge the highs. A breakout here uh, has got some room on the oscillators to move if it wants to. 
Um, so, okay, looks like I did that one twice. So that's there. Then we move into multi-line utilities, which means it can have electricity, gas, all of that. The gas really has been a lot of the driver recently uh, up to this point, but as you'll see in a minute, that might be ready to change here. As the gas is moving up, strong RSI bull range, never really lost it during any of this mess in the markets overall, and now is breaking to new highs. Uh, the breadth, again, light number of holdings, but it still looks like it's pretty strong. The summation moving up. Everything is moving in the right direction. It is not one of the strongest relative comparatives versus the other utilities versus our equal weight index, but versus all the major indices, it certainly is still a big outperformer. And looking down here at the stocks, I'll just show you a couple I jumped out here. Again, you have... CNP, Center Point Energy, breaking a big breakout to end the week last week, but has plenty of room on both the RSI and the daily and the weekly. And this move off the lows, while strong, just moved into a fresh RSI bull range. It has peaked here quite a few times before, but at this point, it's trying to make a new strong high in a market that favors this type of holding. You know, I'm going to run through a few of these charts and we'll stop on them and I'll just kind of make, let you see what's going on. CMS also making a big breakout Friday. AEE is right there. Um, earnings is passed. They were bad earnings. It shakes it off. We're now back towards the high. You have things like Dominion just breaking out. WEC is not there yet. Maybe not the strength. PEG broke out this, or sorry, DTE. Broke out this week, it's PEG, as I noted on my notes, that is about to break out on the daily with a nice strong weekly look that has plenty of room on both. Earnings are passed and they were a beat. We're about to go into the dividend. NWE is one that's been underperforming, but as you can see here, it's breaking a trend line, could play some tech up, uh, some catch up now that this bad earnings has been, again, shaken off. ED. Um, consolidated as and breaking out as well. So you can see a lot of the names in this area. Electric utilities. I'm going to pause. Sorry for the pauses, but I didn't want to pull you through the page. And I'm also not going to start these videos over since I've got so much content in here at this point uh, just for small slip ups like that. So let's keep moving. In the electrical subsector, as you can see, it's just now breaking out. This is a real interesting one because with the gas and all that already running, same thing. If we get big flows into a lot of those ETFs and a lot of those areas, it's probably going to leak over into some of these names as well. And this is just a beautiful setup that moves strong here at the end of the week. Moving down in the breadth here, there are more names in the electrical side and the multi side. So as you can see here, this breadth, these percentages are pretty strong. And the summation is just now turning up. And then you get down here to the relative comps. It's just now turning up against utilities as a whole, and it's running strong against all the other indexes. Percent making new highs on 10, 21, and 63 are all strong. I mean, these are all things that we're looking for. And as you can see here, when we go in and look at a couple of these charts, the big names are fine to look at. Um, Southern Company looks like it's about to try to move into RSI bull range if it breaks over this area. Uh, there's not much volume up here in this top where it was before, and then we can go and potentially challenge all-time highs here. Uh, good dividend while you wait, and you have a chance because the RSI weekly never moved into that bear range. The sideways move to higher just continues to test the MA bands and then find support in them for now. Another one is P&W. This is more of a reversal play where you can see it came down really hard. It went up into an RSI bull range. Pete came down, tested the low of that bull range, and is now moving back over 60 with some strong action. On the weekly, it could run into this downtrend line um, here, so we're going to have to look for some things there. But again, it's one of those areas to where there's some room till you get there, and if it can break over there in this value area, it could move back up into the highs in a nice defensive sector. Looking at some of these areas in the electrical, I have these kind of segmented out myself, but I look at some of these other plays in electrical, um, you know, there's a lot of other charts. Otter, looks like it's consolidated in a nice base. The weekly RSI never lost the MA bands or the trend breakout 
or the M, uh, RSI bull range as CFG on the weekly got negative. And now the RSI held 40 just recently as one of our early signals and has the potential to break over the 63 level. I mean, these are just great looking setups uh, that could have some really good potential and you just don't have to be in some of the other areas that look tougher and tend to move faster um, in case we run into problems. Uh, these A lot of these have good dividends too while you wait. Here Duke Energy looks like it's right at a potential breakout. Uh, had a strong move last week and you know it can get over this volume area and it can continue to move into the highs and that would be all time highs for that one. So a lot of these utilities, now we move into water. There's only a few names in the water so what I'm going to do is just run down the list of a couple of them. AWK, as again, water was getting killed. I mentioned that. Now it looks like a trend reversal moving into new RSI bull range and into a volume vacuum here that could take it up to 167, 68. A clearing that one could get back up into these highs. Um, CWC, I mean, again, just running through some of these charts. A lot of these are bigger downtrends, but like here, SJW looks like it's trying to make a reversal into a new bull trend. Never lost the weekly. Um, this one's a lot lower, CWT. It's in still a hard bear trend, but testing the bull range on the weekly. Uh, I like this better, MSEX. It looks like it's already moved into the bull range and never lost it. Never lost the MA bands on the weekly, and now it's moved back above them and it's curling them up on the daily. You know, these are some things you can work against and work with in these particular charts. AWR is kind of like AWK, um, PCYC, now again, not my favorite when I'm looking at these charts. There are much better looking ones in that water space. And then we have, of course, independent renewables. Um, this is an area that has been kind of the laggard. Uh, it is trying to base out though. It's still in an RSI bear range, one of the only ones in the sector. So it's probably our last go-to. It's only got a few names in it, but it is starting to perk up on the relative strength just because of the defensive nature of the sector overall. We only have a few names in here. We gotta be kind of careful on what we're looking at on these and how much we're using that breadth in this kind of area when you only have five or six names. Uh, none of these charts are my favorites, I'll, I'll be honest. So let's just go ahead and move on. Say that there's a lot of good stuff in utilities. The renewables might not be the ones, but gas started it. Multi-lines are right in the middle of it, and electric is starting to break out now. So I hope this gives you a good review of the utilities sector. I'll move on to the next one here in just a minute.